Coin Toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He makes it to the 35-yard line. The Eagles and their coaching staff are just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 37-yard line. him hard at the 35. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got it and brought down immediately. Well, a new quarterback. But we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Didn't get all of that one. Quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 39-yard line. bring him down around the 50-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. The halfback with a carry. And they got him for a loss. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Gives it right side. Gets out to around the 28. So it's second down and about two yards to go. At the 30. A two yard run by the halfback. Make 
Makes the catch and look out. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Here's an opening. And they make the stop at the 48. Gives it up the gut. He fights forward to about the 49. That's good for him. Second it's second and seven. Ball on the 49. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 39. The Eagles had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Nice run up the middle. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and ten. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. And he got it. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he's taken down at the 33. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gets to about the 41-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Eagles lead 3-0. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. at midfield. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he's tackled at the 46. That makes it second and 10. by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Pitches back. He's at the 30. Knocked out of bounds, around the 26-yard line. Brought 
down right around the 28-yard line. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. It's second and 12. Ball on the 28-yard line. Five wide. Caught open field. Tackle at the 15-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll knock him down for a loss. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 16. handoff. Nice run to the outside. This is the 10th play of this drive. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Going to the end zone and it's coming back out. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Tailback brought down for a loss. is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they play. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Eagles offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. 
He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. Really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 46. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. He's met immediately. That's a loss of about five. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. And he shoved out of bounds at the 42. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. The sophomore safety. to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. it to the back. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. 3-0, Eagles. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Gets to about the 37-yard line. The Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. The blockers tried to sell the misdirection, but the defender stayed home and made the play. That's the kind of effort a coach likes to see from his defense. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Yard line. It's first down. Come on, They'll bring him down at 
the 40. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a gain of four. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 36 yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Here's the eighth play of the series. Makes it to the 17. From the 17 yard line. First down. Could they get another interception here? That's what they got last time this offense was in the red zone. And he throws it away. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The 10, he gets out to about the 8. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. He makes it to the 6-yard line. This is the 12th play of the drive. And he tackles him hard at the six yard line. We've got second and goal. Ball on the six. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he converts the extra point. A 13-play, 63-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. They line up to kick this one away. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires out to his wideout. And he hits him hard at the 47. From their own 47-yard line, first down. He's at the 40. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. Listen, he's not just fast, he's also a smart runner. He knows how to follow blocks, and he knows when to accelerate. That's what differentiates skill from talent.
Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Zips it to the tight end. And they're in. Touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 70-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So the score now, 10-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Got a man. Watch out here. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big play. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 10-7, Eagle. to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Two times, two times. Nice run to the left there. From the 13-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, and they take the lead. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Trying to win the battle in the trenches, and the offense did that time. He makes the PAT. They're ready for the kickoff.
makes it to the 28-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. their own 27 yard line it's second down over the middle got his tight end brought down at the 44 yard line from their own 44-yard line. It's first down. The back has it, and he dropped it. Number 32 was his intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. this game in the fourth quarter. This third and long is huge. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. With a quick throw. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He's tackled at the 26. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 30. three minutes in the game. of two by the halfback from their own 38-yard line. Second down. The halfback with a carry. He fights forward to about the 40. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. They come out on an empty backfield. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle the 37-yard line. That brings up 
Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 37. down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. And this play is number eight on the drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. The Eagles, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.